class. How are you? We are fine. How is the morning? Yes, sir. Okay, sit down. Thank you.
Who is the author? So, how do you start answering the question now? How do you start answering the question? In answering the question, you have to start with the first mention novel. When you are done with the first one, then you move to the second novel. Okay? You cannot mix information. The first novel at the same time, enter information about the second novel. No, you have to start with the first one. For example, the first mention is first like a shadow. Okay? So we can start with pass like a shadow. When we are done with pass like a shadow, then we can move to with not child. Okay. So starting with the novel pass like a shadow, we have certain characters whose behavior affected the community. The foreign characters cause suffering to other family or community members due to their ill behavior. Ill behavior is like bad behavior. Okay. Yes. The ill behavior. Who are those uh, characters? Now we have to pick the characters. The first character is Adia. You remember Adia? Yes. yes. He passed like a shadow? Yes. You know how he behaved? Yes. Okay, so Adia, Adia, Adia's bad behavior. Actually, Adia was one of the famous prostitutes, a skate chaser. So Adia's bad behavior of prostitution caused him to abandon his family. Do you remember? Yes. And decided to live with a concubine. Do you remember the name of the concubine? Do you remember the name of the concubine? Yes. She was yes. known as Birungi. Birungi, exactly. So Adia decided to shift from home and went to live with a concubine. Concubine is that is uh, an official, someone who is not official wife, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, they call it in Chepuko in Swahili, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, uh, the concubine. So, as the result now, Adir gets infected with his what? Yes. HIV. Yes. Okay, because that is a bad behavior. Being a prostitute is a bad behavior. So, he was infected with HIV AIDS and he infected his wife. You see, it is transferred from the husband to the wife. As a result, when the family leaders are infected, the impact will be to the whole family. Are we together? Yes. So, and in fact, his wife, Amoti. So the family lived in hardship due to Adia's what? Behavior. Yeah. Had it been that he was not a prostitute, he could not be infected. So because of his ill behavior, he caused the suffering to the whole family. Are we together? Yes. Yeah, so and the behavior of someone can affect other people, knowingly or without knowing. Okay? Yes. That's clear? Yes. That's the first character. The second character, do you remember this guy, David's father? Yes. Uh, where did he live? In Kampala, the capital city of Uganda, Kampala. The man was a prostitute, just the same like Adia. But this one here was more than Adia. <laughs> <laughs> he was more than Adia. So David's father, this David's father was a prostitute, and he reached the point here, reached the point of sleeping with the housemaid. Can you imagine? You know the housemaid? Yes. yes. Sleeping with the housemaid, the father of the house, the head of the family. It's a little ridiculous. So you can see his behavior was a bad behavior. As a result, we know what happened. David's father, David's father uh, got infected with HIV AIDS. You can see. David's father got infected with HIV AIDS. And his whole family was also infected because um, Debbie also slept with the house man. Can you imagine? Yeah. yeah. So the father was infected. In. Like father, like, like son. son. You see? <laughs> the housemaid was also infected. In. But also those who maybe slept with the housemaid, they were also affected. So the, the whole community got infected. Okay? Yes. From one person, from ill behavior of a certain person, it can be a suffering to other community members. 
And so this shows how his behavior resulted to suffering among the family, <coughs> among the family members. How many characters have we so, so far discussed? Two, Two characters. characters, Adiel and David's father. All of them showed elements of eerie behavior. behavior or bad behavior. Another character is Arganira. Do you know this guy? Yes. Arganira. Arganira. Arganira was Vicky's husband. Okay? Yes. And we know that Arganira believed in super superstition. The man was very superstitious. When they got married, they didn't get a fortune of getting a child. So being superstitious, Arganila decided to go to the witch, doctor. the witch doctor. And you know what happened to the witch doctor? Yes. Right? You know what happened? Yes. The witch doctor used and sterilized the instruments. As a result, Vic was infected. You see? Yes. So the bad behavior of Arganila shifted to Vic. So Vic was infected because of uh, Arganila believing in him. Superstition. Had it not been for Arganila to send Vic to the witch doctor, then Vic would not be infected. So a bad behavior of someone can lead to disaster to other community members. So Arganila, he believes in superstition. When Vic fails to conceive, he sends him to the witch doctor, and the witch doctor used as the real instruments to pick on Vicky's stomach. Hence, he infected her through the usage of sharp instrument, which was used to pick other sick people. So Arganila contributed to affecting his, to affect his, uh, himself, first of all, but also to affect his wife. It started it by Vic, but because Vic is his wife, it means the infection want him as well, okay? Yes. So one mistake caused by one person, then the suffering to many people, okay? Mm -hmm. So bad behavior of someone can lead to disaster in the community. So that is about past like a shadow. Yeah. So you have to use four characters, okay? You have to use four characters. The other book is Weep Not Child. I think you're very familiar with this book, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Weep not child. There are certain characters who cause suffering to other community members in the book Weep Not Child. In the book Weep Not Child, the following characters cause suffering, uh, suffering to other family members due to their ill behavior. And who are they? The first one, do you remember Boro? Yes. yes. Bor. Who was Bor? Bor was son. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Can you tell me uh, why do we speak of Bor as a special case? Because he killed Mr. Orans and Jacob. Okay, he killed Mr. Orans and Jacob, but there is a special case that was the Mau Mau activist. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it is believed that he fought in the gorilla. Well, it was believed. Uh, actually, when you read the book, you can find a place where he showed that he took an oath because the, the Mau Mau fighters used to take an oath before joining Mau Mau. <coughs> so Boro also took an oath, took an oath to join uh, the gorilla fighters in the forest. So Boro, Boro was a Mau Mau activist and was among the gorilla fighters who took an oath to fight against the, the colonial regime. And all those who supported the white settlers, like Mr. Jacob. You remember Mr. Jacob? Yes. Was the support of Mr. Horace. So everyone who supported the white settler was an enemy to the Mau Mau fighters. Okay? And how now can we connect the behavior of Boro with his family? This can be connected as follows. When Boro killed the white settler, Mr. Horace, okay? Yes. His family suffered. How did they suffer? <coughs> Corey, who was Ngozo's son, 
Participating in Mau Mau was the cause for Boros family to be tortured by the colonial government. Are we together? Yes. So one problem can cause problems to all other family members. Okay? The problem can be caused by one of the family members but it can spread to the whole clan. Or it can spread to the whole family. So that is, that is where we can make the connectivity here. We can connect. But also, we have another character. Yes. Goto. Goto. Goto is Joroge's father. Joroge's father organized a worker strike against, the, against the Mr. Horace, who was a white, a white settler. Uh, due to law wages which was paid to the laborers uh, on the farm. When Jacobo discovers that Ngoto organized the strike, he eliminates Ngoto from the piece of land that he was given to live with his family, and the whole family lived in hardship. They suffered because they had no other land where they could build their house. So they were eliminated from the chamber or from the farm or from that piece of land that was given by Jacob, and therefore the family suffered. Had it not been for someone to give them another place to build, then they could suffer. Actually, they suffered. It's not that they could suffer. They suffered for the first time until when a good Samaritan gave them another piece of land to build a house. Okay? Yes. So the source of this conflict, the source of this suffering was from Gotho by organizing the strike against the Mr. Horace. Okay? Uh, uh, in Hake and Joroge, we are very close friends, actually from childhood, isn't it? Yes. And uh, their families were just well, but came a time when, when Ngoto organized a strike in the farm, okay? Yes. And when Ngoro killed Mr. Jacob, because it was realized later that Jacob is the one who killed him, Jacob, and Jacob is Mihaki's Father, okay? So enmity developed between the two families. So they are no longer in good terms, okay? Yes. So the causative agent who caused all this God, was the source of the problem, okay? Yes. So Ngoso caused the two okay, couples, that is Njoroge and Mihaki, not to be in good what? In good terms. So the source goes from Ngoso. Um, so in conclusion, to make a conclusion of this, this is how you can write down the conclusion. In conclusion, uh, the well-being of community members can be affected with ill behavior of some of the community members. Someone's ill behavior can result to suffering and torture to other innocent what? Innocent family members. It's how happened to Jerry, it's how happened to Joroge, who was taken all the way from the from school and he was sent to Manyani concentration camp. Do you remember that camp? Yes. Where we, when you go there you have to set beasts of blood. There is torture and suffering. But the torture and suffering that all the pain that was inflicted to these characters was caused by other characters. They were innocent, but someone caused the suffering for them. That clear? Yes. Okay, very good. 
So do you know now how to answer this question? Can you answer this question correctly? Yes. Do you know how to connect the weight of character and the weight of other community members? Yes. So when answering the questions, we said before that we have to understand the demands of the what? Demand, demands of the person. That's the first important thing you have to know. But also you have to mention the books or the novels that you're going to use. Okay? Yes. That have to be stated. And when you're answering, you have to start with the first novel or play and finish up with the second novel or play. And actually you have to give examples when answering. Don't just answer without providing. Give the examples from the book. Is that clear? Yes. Is it well understood? Yes. Okay. So that is how we are supposed to answer this question. Had it been that we are among those who are doing the examination in 2016, could you answer the way we have answered it? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, so congratulations. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So this marks the end of our lesson today. Next time we we'll proceed on with analysis of other questions from different class papers. That clear? Yes. Thank you very much for your cooperation. May we wish you a good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.